Is flaxseed lowering your testosterone? Okay, that's a good question, <sighs> yeah. right? Okay, I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. I'm Dr. Brad Whitney. Welcome to Talking With Docs. Yes, and this is a comment, or in response to a comment about, hey, Doc, I'm not taking flaxseed because it's gonna lower my tea. Okay, so, low, so what is testosterone? Okay. Testosterone is a hormone uh, that's present in men and women. Yes. It's higher in men. Yep. It's uh, produced in the testes in men, in the ovaries in women. It's regulated by a hormone coming from the pituitary gland. Yep. Plays an important role in the development of bone, yep. muscle, bulk, and strength, and yes. other bodily functions, sexually related bodily functions. Yeah, mood, as well as androgenic features of, that are typical of men. I think if I worked out in a gym, like a yeah. public gym, I think my nickname would, I think the gym bros would call me Low T. <laughs> That'd be my nickname. They'd be like, hey, Low T, why don't you throw <laughs> another couple of nickels on that dumbbell? But then I'd be like, who are you calling dumbbell? Dumbbell. <laughs> then it would just escalate from I there. I would feel bad for you if they called you Low T. Well, um, low testosterone is a real problem. 100%, particularly as we age, uh, and there are some genetic conditions where it can happen at a young age that needs to be treated. But yeah. lower testosterone is a more kind of vague, nuancey kind of area of medicine where definitely supplementation can play a role in improving, particularly in people's mood and like depression. Absolutely. Um, so if you think you have this, definitely talk to your doctor yeah, about it. We're not going to talk about that no. uh, condition today. I think we've talked about it before with we, the urologist. Yeah, with Dr. Casey. Um, uh, yeah, so check out that video. Right. Um, but when it comes to flaxseed, so what is flaxseed? Is that where that... Yeah. Fla yeah. Flaxseed. So it's a little seed, typically consumed in a ground form, right. that really has two main medicinal or health benefits, and that would be reducing incidence of constipation and reducing your LDL cholesterol, that cholesterol that is thought to be a direct cause of atherosclerosis and cardiovascular events. So right. flaxseed is good for you because it has three things really. Fiber for the constipation, omega-3, so plant-based omega-3s to help reduce your cholesterol, and something called lignans. And lignans, it's an interesting word yeah. fun to say, it is a phytoestrogen and thought to play a role in the binding of sex hormones, both uh, female and male sex hormones, estrogen and testosterone. And go ahead. Well, that's where the theory is that right. maybe taking the flax seeds because of these lignans is going to lower your testosterone level. Yeah. So some people have surmised that it binds to the testosterone and relates to the performance of an enzyme called 5 alpha reductase that we talked about in other videos that converts testosterone to uh, dihydrotestosterone. Um, and a lot of it came from one slightly poorly constructed research paper in the early 2000s with prostate cancer surgery patients. <clears throat> and what they found is that they were treating them with a diet that was low in fat and high in flaxseed, and they found that these people had lower testosterone levels. Right. So the question is, did the flaxseed cause the lower testosterone, or is it maybe the low fat diet that might right. cause the low testosterone levels? And keep in mind, this is not a rigorous, well-constructed, randomized controlled trial right. that showed this. So take these results with a grain of salt. Yes, but not or, too much salt. or a tablespoon of flaxseed. Take it with a tablespoon of flaxseed. Do you take flaxseed? I do, two a day. I, I don't think I've ever purposefully ingested flaxseed. I, my wife and I, we definitely do. Um, um, so the, the study had issues, and they certainly looking back at it, they said, okay, well, there's a bunch of things that happened. So hey, these were cancer patients, so that's the first thing. So you, is that applicable to the average person? Probably not. Two, they're undergoing surgery. Surgery is a very stressful like emotionally and physically stressful yeah. event that has been shown to lower your testosterone. They were on a low fat diet as well as a flaxseed supplement. So low fat diets have been shown to lower testosterone. So there's a whole bunch of things that could have done it. And the same group of researchers actually did another study seven years later in 2008 that showed it didn't lower testosterone. Okay, and that's key. Whenever we yeah. look at research, we find a paper that shows something, but what we like to find is reproducibility. Yes. Did other people have do a similar study and find the same results? Because whenever you do a study, there's a chance that your results of the, that you're observing are due to chance. Yes. Random chance, right? We have arbitrarily assigned a level of comfort that we say, oh yeah, there's like a 95% chance this isn't due to chance. Yeah. However, there's still a chance that it's due to chance. Right. Get what I'm saying? I, I do. I don't. And, and we'll provide some links to these studies. And what I would tell you is that this shows that flaxseed does not lower your testosterone. That's and the bottom line. Is there a scenario where if you ate enough or in a certain population, could it? Maybe. And time yeah. will tell if another study is probably done. The take-home message for me is that I think flaxseed is something that's healthy. I think if you are someone who is not keen on taking a statin or trying to reduce your level of statins because you have high cholesterol, it might be worth 
considering okay. taking... Maybe I'll try. Do you grow your own flax seed? I do, I do not. That's, so just about that's, everything a, else. that's a fair question. Did you uh, come into work today on the Mayflower? Because oh, right. I didn't see it in the parking lot. I saw no big ships in the... No. Just cars. No. no. So I think flaxseed is worth taking for the, for the gastrointestinal benefits as well as for the cholesterol-lowering benefits. And at this point, there's no good evidence to show that lower lowers testosterone, so you don't have to worry about that for okay. that reason. So he takes it, I don't. Leave a comment and let us know. I want to know, should I start taking this flat seed? Yeah. Cut me some flat. I, th I think seed. you should. Um, and please leave a comment if you have issues with testosterone, if you've taken flax seed, um, let us know what you think. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Remember, always check with your medical professional, primary care doctor before you start taking these supplements, Great. changing your diet radically. But you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.